Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Y'all, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. We've gotta go to the park. We're already here, technically. We just have to walk to it. Oh no, look, Byaki is already X'd out. Well, that pretty much makes it official, doesn't it? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I also don't remember the way to go. You know what, I prob- God, why do I even bother? Why don't I just go? This happens every time. Oh, it's over here. Monokuma Rock. Actually, you know what? I thought maybe we could just go there, like, by teleport. But apparently we can't. Maybe I wasn't wrong. I don't know. Hello! <laughs> don't look at me. I probably went the completely wrong way. For some reason, it's really hard for me to tell. Um, where they actually want me to go. Like, which way is which? Hi. You're- you look all wrapped up. Well, how did you get in that knot? Maybe someone should help you. Hey! Right before a trial? I- Hi! <laughs> Please don't look at me. I don't wanna- Aw, oh, I, I went the- I went the completely wrong way around. Good. Hello? Alright, when am I gonna run into it, actually? It's all the way here at the end. So probably if I went the other way, I would have gotten here quicker, but it's so hard to tell by looking at the map. Uh, wait, before- sorry, before- before we start. <laughs> I'm totally putting this off. Let me just clean that up. Because I think the trial's gonna be very long, and I don't want her to poop in the middle of it, alright. It's gonna stink. So people told me these are super long. I will do my best, but it's probably- it's probably going to be really difficult for me to do the whole thing as one video until the break. Apparently there's an intermission in the middle of these, that's how long they are. I might not get that far because having multiple hour long videos is not the best. We'll see though, I'll do the, the best that I can. Kazuichi, what's the matter? Are you kidding me? Oh, what the heck's that mountain? Ooh, when did it get there? I don't know, this is the first we're seeing it. Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shape like Monokuma? I don't know. With chisels. Looks great. No way. That story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what well, Byakuya said before, right? You are right. Oh, Byakuya. We still needed his knowledge. <sighs> I can't believe he's dead. Nothing, Chiaki. What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Oh no, are they missing now? Um, now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! <laughs> I know, they probably ran away. No! Hello! Way. Oh, hell no! There's no way I'd let him escape, you know. Look, I dragged this one back over here. Don't fuck with I'm me. I'm telling you, let me go. Hey. Hey, if you keep acting now. violent, I might just eat you up. Hey. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You. You. How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder even though we don't want to. Just to survive. Wait! Uh, Mahiru, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. <sighs> Dumbass. Um... Uh, and I guess we're waiting for Gundam? What happened? I am right Sinner. here. Where's your earring? Did you get it? Now then, let us begin! Remember this well, a main character arrives when he intends to. I do hope you're a main character, sweetheart. I'm trying not to bank on any of these kids right now, because my heart has already broken in pieces, okay? And I gotta band-aid it back up. I don't want to lose any of these kids. Gundam, I hope you make it. Hey, it seems you noticed it too. <laughs> <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well now. Alright, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret engines to the trial field. Wait, please wait a second. What's this? My, my, Monami. Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I, I, I. What, what? Look, do you actually want to join in? You masochistic Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. 
Special bleeding Oh, service. well, I'm a big brother who dilts on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. I don't think that's what she wanted. See ya later! I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over. Bye. Huh? He told us to come, but how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? Why is he sweating so bad? I've never seen him like that. He mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? I wonder where it is. Well, I'm sure by clicking on it, I'll get there. But first, we gotta talk to everybody like always. Be happy! Be happy, you humans have been spared. <laughs> he got his earring back, did he? I think it's the one he's wearing in his left. Or our right, his right, our left. You get what I'm saying. So annoying. Oh, boring. You? Whatever, let's go inside already. Okay, we will. You alright, girl? Well? In RPG video games, it's common for secret areas to be underground. Comparing our situation to a video game. I mean, look, it's what she has. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, Ibuki's not okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get her some water or something. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck if that fat pig is dead. Who cares? Seriously, it's so mean. Jesus Christ! I hope you turn around. This is the worst. We gotta find the killer. If we don't, we're the ones who are gonna get killed. You're not wrong. I. She's also not okay. Oh, Jesus. Alright, fine. Mikan, you alright? Why? This is definitely strange. Why is this happening? Why do we have to find the killer? I don't know, my dear. Peko, are you doing okay? You looked like you weren't feeling too well earlier. No. Don't worry about it. I appreciate your concern. However, there are other things we should be focusing on. Okay, as long as you're sure. Damn it! Oh, I don't want to go. Is there any way I can run away from this? Not without being killed, probably. Sorry I'm drawing this out. I just nice. want to know everything. A huge organization, so my kingdom has been cast in doubt. However, I do not think my government will participate in something like this. I don't think it's you, darling. Don't worry. That's weird. What happened, Hajime? Are you scared? Seriously? You're such a wuss. Is she not scared of anything? That can't be uh. real. <laughs> uh, let's stop this bad joke. Why don't we have dinner instead? Well, we tried, but then your dinner made everyone have to run and shit themselves pretty much. <clears throat> this is our battle to avenge Biakia, but I feel quite disheartened. You're all right. All right. Gundam, I talked to you, right? Yes, I did. Hmm. You were wondering about Gundam too, right? You too, huh? He's got his earring back. I wonder how he got it. Maybe we won't find that out till later. Oh my god, do we actually go into his mouth? Well, that's a euphemism if I ever heard one. What the? Something's shaking? Oh, uh, this is dangerous. Everyone, please get down. Well, maybe the door opens up. Oh. Oh, that, no, that's fine. That happens normally. <laughs> god, I feel like we're in Persona 5. Like in someone's weird palace, Monokuma's palace. God, can you imagine what Monokuma's palace would be like? Something came out! Oh. Lude. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? Also lewd. What? Such a suspicious aura. Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazine is trembling with fear. Oh. Ah, that's totally suspicious. Hey, 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 Oh, hey, forgive hey. me. Seriously, just forgive me already. Uh, uh, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. Wait, no way, no way! Everyone's freaking. Stupid! Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. Man, she's like the bravest one of us all. We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere else for us to run. We need to do it. Hmm, well, if that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. Monami, you alright? Nope. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. I wonder when the part comes where we can, like, review stuff and, like, equip skills? 
Because I haven't done that yet, I don't think. Ooh, I hope I don't mess this up. I'm probably going to mess this first one up, guys, honestly. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. Do we get to ride it? Let's go. And when each of us entered Monokuma Rock... It closed. Oh my god. That definitely doesn't seem safe. Wait, what? What the- oh god. Is everyone alive still? Oh, it's the elevator again! Look! Gosh, isn't this bad nostalgia? This is an elevator! I see. This entire rock is an elevator. <sighs> Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However... However, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Oh, even so, we're going pretty deep. Oh, lewd. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. It's okay, Hajime. It's alright to be scared. Let's look at them now because every time we see this, it's gonna be less and less of them like before and it's sad. There we were, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. God, this is so bad. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. And then, the elevator door slowly opened. Do I have time to do my skills? I don't Welcome. even know how you do it. Oh god. I might not even have any. <laughs> okay, welcome! This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. Why you? Dude, what the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a shitty looking place like this. Don't fuck with me! To be honest, it looks a little better than the other one. Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. Is it written now and they don't have pictures? I don't see the pictures anywhere. It looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. I'm worried now. Is it gonna give me a moment? If not, I'm wondering if I should look at this now. Because I kinda didn't do it before. Um... I already bought some skills, so I guess whatever I bought is probably already equipped. But do I need to look at truth bullets now? Because I didn't really get a chance to do it. Um, I usually like to read them for you. But let me look at them real quick, just in case. Alright, the Monokuma file. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Marai. The estimated time of death is 11.30pm. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. The body... Under the table is face down as if Biaki were reaching for something. This really makes me think that it was done under the floor. And you know, what we found earlier actually coincides with that. The tablecloth that had the blood stain on it that I couldn't work out what it was for. If somebody was under there and Biaki may have maybe saw them or knew that they were there. If they stabbed him when he was looking down on the floor, probably the blood would have rained down. So that could be something. Bloodstained knife found under the table. It was also, it looked like it was taped there as well. Bloodstained under the table. Pool of blood formed around the body underneath the table. No sign the body was dragged. The floor of the dining hall were full of gaps. Gundam dropped one of his earrings. AC timer was set to 11.30 in the office as well. Night vision goggles were found under the table. Apparently came from the supermarket, which Byakia had, which leads me to believe that he could have seen somebody there. During the blackout, Makan tripped and fell in the dining hall. She would end up in the compromise position. I still don't know how that's going to come into play. Duralim in case. This case Byakia had with him. There's a lot of security equipment inside and a hard plastic case. The key to the other case is inside here too. This is the account saying Ibuki heard things. There were three irons in the storage room. When Nagito found them, they were turned on. Bloodstained tablecloth was stuffed in the laundry hamper. Terra Terra said that the gas stove was powered by electricity. It's why Terra Terra couldn't use it. Which is, that seems weird, because don't gas stoves not need electricity? But maybe I'm wrong. Terra Terra poured his heart and soul into cook his various dishes. Akane and Pekka were the only ones who ate them. If a fire breaks out, the fire door in the hallway of the old building can be shut. A knife was found at the crime scene was not included on the kitchen list. Chiaki was standing guard for Yuhiko came to the old building and walked away. 
threatening letter was found inside Byakuya's room. During the search for Byakuya, Kazuchi headed straight for the office. He didn't see anyone, including Peko, there. Mikan said that Byakuya sustained several puncture wounds to the chest and abdomen, roughly 5 millimeters in diameter. Nekumaru kept trying to use the bathroom since before the party started, but somebody was in there the whole time. He could use the bathroom, though, after Byakuya's body was discovered. That's it. Are you guys ready? I really hope I don't mess this up too much, guys, but I might. So bear with me. It looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked towards the seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Byakuya. Oh, I'm so sad that he's gone already, you guys. I don't even know what to say. How could they do this immediately? The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Tagami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. Oh, look at this! This is cool. The person who did it is one of us. Oh no. Oh, Byaki is in red. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true... We need to find out, by any means possible. Because that's our only option. There is no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. It's true. And so, this life-threatening trial building with hope and despair has begun. I am so nervous. Um, no. I don't like to save in the middle of an LP. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so there is a prep. I'm sorry then, I read everything for no reason. Oh, uh, did I not? Okay, slightly steadies your aim. Effective during non-stop debate. Okay, so I did have skills, I just didn't have them. Increases aiming speed. Effective during non-stop debate and improved hangman's gambit. Yeah, I'll take that too. Trigger happy. Vocabulary. Some people said some of the skills I got wouldn't be useful because I have my action on gentle, so maybe I'll just do those two. I mean, I have extra points, though. I'll just put them on, and we'll see if what happens. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Oh, you can change the difficulty right here. Oh, that's so fantastic. This was something I fell victim to in the first one. Right, so you can open the e-handbook now and look at everything you need. So you would look at the truth bullets now, but we already did it. So we're okay. I'm ready. Bear with me, guys. It's probably going to take a while for me to get used to it, depending on what's new. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Okay, I, I think I'm ready. Oh no, look at Monami though. I'm gonna be commenting on everything weird, so I might be like stopping what I'm saying in the middle of stuff. Also, I know that in the first one, I didn't go with like the funny joke answers because I didn't want to get penalized. And I know that people did say that the penalization here is not that bad, but I don't want to get off track either. During the class so we'll trial, see. you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Okay, right. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. Right. But if you pick the wrong person... Ding dong. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, same, same. This is such a cruel rule. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? I guess that's a good question to ask, but will Monokuma actually answer it? Most definitely. There's no doubt that the blackened is lurking among you. All right, there we go. Such a sad oh, state of affairs, isn't it? I don't affairs, like that sudden zoom it? on his face. Ew. By the way, this class trial is going to be 100% fair, so there's no need to worry. Okay. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Uh-huh. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. Oh, no, rude. You hate me that much? Oh. Now, let's begin. Poor Monami. Y you're telling us to begin 
But what are we supposed to do? <laughs> me con is me right now. No complaining. Let's just settle this with our fists. Also, were you even listening to the rules? Oh, good lord. Everyone's confused. Didn't that Biakia bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. <laughs> I love his voice. Yeah, yeah. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? <laughs> No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. I kind of, you know what? I'm inclined to believe him completely for some reason. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? <laughs> Is Nagito huh. a fuckboy? The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Yep. Then, let's start with that mystery. Okay. This is doing it again already, I can tell. The same thing that DR1 did, where even though I had the music way below the voices, it seems like the music is going beyond the voices right now. Is that something I can fix at the moment? Sorry guys, I don't like doing this, but it's gonna be a problem later if I don't. Uh, let's see if I can do it. I don't know why. This same thing literally happened in the first one. I felt like the trial music was a lot louder than their voices were. And I, we definitely want to hear the voices. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately, we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that... You're right, Hajime. Seeing their- wow, seeing their faces like this looks really cool. I like it. No, thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this, no matter what. So the class trial has finally started. From this point on, I will provide simple tutorials at every important moment. Thank God for that. And I'll probably forget them all. Because I'm an old lady. I'm sorry, but please excuse my irritating rudeness. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, all of your classmates will speak one after the other without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes contained within their statements. So that seems to be the same. This means you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Out of all the truth bullets you find during your investigation, only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mouse to move the reticle and then fire with the left mouse button. Okay. Pay close attention to each character's statements and choose your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you'll automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the escape key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Good luck and have fun. Okay, this looks to be the same already. People did say, please go through them all if you can. Oh my god, there's a lot. Okay, I don't know. What are we looking at here? I mean, they said the body, right? So, start with this. Why was Byakuya's body uh -huh. in a place like that? I don't know. His body was underneath the table. God, Gundam's voice is really cool. At the very back of the dining hall. I cannot emulate that, guys. I'm sorry. After the killer murdered Byakuya. Yeah. They probably moved the body there. No, no, no. They didn't move the body, but people want huh? me to keep going. Why? Obviously, by hiding the body. Uh huh. They tried to delay its discovery. Now I already know it's wrong, but for what you guys, I'm hanging on. A bone? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Ew. What he just said was strange. It clearly contradicts the information I know. Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? Here we go. His body was underneath at the very back. <laughs> After the killer, they probably moved the body no. there. Oh, I missed. Huh? Oh no! Here we go. I it starts. Tried to delay it like a dog burying a bone. <laughs> I hope you like hearing a dog burying a bone five times. Oh, dear. Why was Byakuya's in a place like his body was under at the very back of the after the killer murdered Byakuya? I don't know why this always happens to me. They probably moved the body there. I get so nervous. No, that's wrong. Oh, this is the same. Yeah, this is cool. Hajime sounds cool. All right, I'm digging this. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. I really like Hajime. Did I mention that already? I really do. Huh? Why? I like all these kids. Try to remember what the body looked Maybe not like this one. when we found it under the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it said that it hadn't been there moved. was a lot of blood everywhere. There was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. True, true. All right. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. 
I get your point. Yep. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. Sorry, it'll never happen. Too bad you're so stupid <laughs> and boring and unpopular. Oh. Your life is meaningless. Oh, no. I respond better to praise, you know. Just leave her be. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? That's where he died, pretty much. Yakuya was probably killed under the table. Yeah. Look, she's still laughing at her old troll. Look at that. What? You think he was killed under the table? Yeah, that's what I just said. So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Why you sound so condescending? Hang on to something. Then, shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Okay. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Well, that's what we have to figure out. Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. What the hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Oh, here we go. Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. That could be. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. I don't know, I might. <laughs> the reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? During the party. Alright. The reason Byakuya dove under the table... If it's connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, then it's probably... Oh, shoot. It's probably... I don't... I don't know. He was looking for... He was looking for things during the party, so it's either... Is it the knife, though? I don't know. It doesn't seem right. It's either that... Night vision goggles, maybe. At least I have some time to think about it. Um... Because that was under the table as well. And it said that it glowed. I'm gonna try it. I can prove it with this! Oh my god, look at this! It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Does it actually, though? I was just guessing. <laughs> it's the only thing I had. Really? Knife? It was stuck there. Oh! You mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Honestly, I don't think it was the murder weapon, though. Because it said five millimeters. That knife is bigger Yaku, than that. you probably noticed the knife was hidden there. Yeah. So in order to get it... Because it was glowing. ...under the table. So you probably saw it. Okay, that makes sense. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items. Yep. So I cannot deny that possibility. Yeah. That makes sense then. But we definitely know that it, it was that not there the there knife was a that killed knife him. Under the table. Because of the glowy stuff, of if course. If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Yes, that's absolutely right. Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Yep. Like, for example... He might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. I think so. No, that's not possible. It's not, Pecco? What? You seem rather confident about that. Yeah, tell us. Of course. I have proof to back me up. Tell me. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! What do you mean, it is real? During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. Wait, what? But from this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one lie or contradiction in the debate at a time. This means there will be false weak spots. If you shoot a false weak spot with a truth bullet, not only will you fail to refute what was said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone and your influence gauge will take damage. If your influence gauge reaches zero, you will fail, so please be extra careful. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or mistakes. Also, if you concentrate by holding down the space key, you can progress the argument slowly. I need to do that, because you've seen how I aim. Please use it whenever you feel the statements are moving too fast for you to aim. However, this does consume focus gauge, so please be careful. I should probably get the skill that ups my focus gauge. I just don't know which one that is. If you press the escape key, you can review the controls. Good luck and have fun! This is another non-stop, isn't it? Alright, make your argument. Knife, blood stand under the table. Oh, well, that's a lot of things! I don't know. Gap some floorboard. Oh god, okay, let's see what they're talking about. I'm sure about. Byakuya ducked under the table. Uh-huh. During the blackout. Okay. That sounds correct. Right. If that's the case... During the blackout, Mr. Ham-Hands <laughs> must have seen the killer take the knife. 
Okay. But it was super pitch black. It was. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. You were still eating it though. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. Wait. No, he could. I doubt he could have seen the killer. Oh, 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 oh he can. He, wait, wait. Oh my god, my mouse button is like real crap. It also went away because it ended. It's true, getting under that table during the blackout would have been nearly impossible, but... I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table. It's this. It's gotta be. During the blackout. Alright. That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, I must have seen the killer. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. <laughs> Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. Got it. No, that's wrong. Yes, okay. Ooh, break. This is amazing. No, Byakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Yeah. Why do you say that? She didn't know about the goggles, I guess. If he was using those night vision goggles we found under the table, he could have seen what was happening. Mm-hmm. So... Are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? She says his name's so weird, Byakuya. Yeah, that seems to be the case. I think so too, Hajime. Your reasoning is out of focus. Whoa, 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 sorry? What happened just now? Why is she yelling? No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. What? Why, what, what I don't know what this is. Other way around? What's happening? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. Uh, what's happening here? Were you surprised by Mahiru's sudden argument? Yeah, she scared me a little. Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument surfaces, you will go one-on-one -on -one debate called rebuttal should on- Yes, this is the rebuttal that people told me about. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim, draw out their weak spots and argue against them. Okay. Please counter the other person's remarks with the WASD keys? What? Based on the shape of their remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. Wait, I'm sorry, what? And based on that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the person's remarks, it'll skew toward their advantage. I'm not sure I understand what they're telling me here. In the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, a number that shows the sharpness of your counter is displayed. This is the number of times you can cut remarks during one round of the debate. You will lose counts of sharpness even if you miss, so please be very careful. When the mood skews to your advantage for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. This is new! This means the conversation will develop. If that happens, they will end up divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it will skew the mood towards the other party's advantage. Plus, it's gonna be very big? What? I'm gonna mess whatever this is up. Just like a regular debate, please refute any weak spots with the left mouse button, okay? I hope this is gonna give me a tutorial to try and not be too mean to me because I don't know what this means. Of course, if you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut an opponent's remark. What's a truth blade? I'm terribly sorry. It appears there has been delay in contacting you. I will make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. In this mode, truth bullets will be called truth blades. That's about it. There won't be any other changes. What do you mean? That whole thing was a change. Only the name was changed, but don't you think a change in feeling is important? If you press the escape key, you can review the controls. Oh, guys, what is this? Okay, give me- bear with me here. I don't- what? Okay. Knife, Duralumin case. Oh, she's pro- uh, well, irons in storage room, no. It's either knife or- it's probably this. Because if she's gonna say that, like... If you just ugh. use common sense, the killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Oh, what? I can't back down! Duel? Whoa, 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 what am I doing? I have no idea what's happening. What was I supposed to mash just then? I was doing left mouse button, but it didn't seem to work. Just a little bit more and I can draw something out next time. If you just use the killer obviously use those night vision goggles, that's gotta be it. Okay. Advance, I Where's see. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Okay. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. No. I mean, in reality, Wait, what? So those goggles were planned in advance. What? The killer brought them to the crime scene. 
Retreat? Damn it! Oh no, I, I have no idea what's going on here. Like, it's happening too fast. I get that I was supposed to probably say that the killer didn't bring it to the crime scene. Byaki probably had it in the case with him, but how do I... What? <laughs> if you just use common sense. The killer obviously used the Oh, I can focus here too. That's okay. Gotta be it. I can't back down. Duel. What is this again? Oh, okay, it was left mouse button. I just had to do it quicker. All Where's right. your proof that the killer used them? Right. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. No. Allow me to cut through those words. Did that actually work? Guys, I don't even understand what just happened. No. Byakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Can someone please explain to me like I'm five how to do that? Because I have the action on kind, I think, and that was crazy. Might have to turn it down, depending on. Definitely? But why? Okay. Inside the Duralumen case Byakuya had with him Right, the right, park. okay. So I was on the right track of what I was trying to prove, I just don't know how I got there. <laughs> we found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Right, that was in there. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumen case as well. Yes, that's exactly what it means. Woohoo! I said assume! <laughs> Ibuki never uses such clever language. Oh my god. Plus, Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Okay. Because he, he was the carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. Yeah. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Okay, don't yell at me anymore because that was scary. Then... Was that knife inside the case, too? Hmm. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there, too. I don't think it was, because what about the duct tape? It was clearly holding it up under the table. It would be weird. Hmm. I am weird, aren't I? <gasps> At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. I, I, I beg your pardon? This is hardly the time or place. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. Yeah, look, Connie's laughing at it. It's funny. The knife was brought in the Duralumen case along with the night vision goggles, too? That's not possible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. <clears throat> I should be able to prove it. The duct tape, yeah. I see. His hand looks so creepy and weird. Is it just me? Left under the table where the body was Looks found. like motherfucking salad fingers. Huh? Duct tape. He didn't know about that? They probably hit the knife I guess nobody looked under there except me. Tape. God, you guys should have really investigated a little more. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Yeah, see, she saw it because she did the autopsy. So Byakuyo was thorough. Even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. No, he might have, though, because what about the pain? This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Mm-hmm. Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case, too. Yep. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming he knew that something bad was going to happen. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. Yep. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. Well, he got that threatening letter, too, of course. That's probably what prompted the whole thing. He probably knew. Someone was planning to commit a murder. Yeah, but how do you just know? No, it was the letter Are for sure. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could <laughs> it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? <laughs> I love Gundam so he much. I think so too. Right, Hajime? Why are you helping me? Also, why do you sound so condescending? <laughs> Byaki probably knew that a possibility that a murder would occur because of the letter. Where is it? Murder threat. Here it is. I can prove it with this. No, I don't want to see your salad hand. It's weird. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Look at this murder threat. <laughs> yep. Be careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Hey, the hell is this? Yep. Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. Yes. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. So, who's the someone? Obviously, we don't know. Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. <laughs> she even sassed him. Wasn't me! Are you sure? <laughs> the only lies I tell are friendly lies! 
lies! Uh-huh, nobody believes you. Those are still lies! True. It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Byakuya became paranoid because of this threat. I will never get over Byakuya. <laughs> he probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. Yeah, to keep everybody in the same place, I'm assuming to keep them safe. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. Ibuki looks so out of place being so happy with herself. In doing so, <laughs> he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. Right, right, I'm in agreement with that. But the letter might have been just a little prank. No, I don't think so, though. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. Yep. His strong sense of responsibility made him yeah, believe the letter was legitimate. He wouldn't just ignore that, would he? Ugh, you should have told us he received a threatening letter. No, he had a reason for not doing that, too. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that, too. Yep. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? Mm-hmm. I see. The strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. True. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. The killer. Here we go. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Byakuya? <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! I don't think that's gonna work, as cool as that would be. If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. <laughs> Her fucking face is my my big mood. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? Of course you can. What is it, Miss Sonia? <laughs> He's really sweet on her. I regret that I must return to this topic, but... I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. Okay. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? Hmm. You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. What about the paint, though? But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Hmm. Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that dark. No, it was definitely the paint then. The killer definitely used a mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under the table into his hands. Yeah, here it is, the glowing paint. I see! God, even his hair moves. What if the glowing paint was the mark? Yep. With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. True. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Yeah, so you could easily see it. So somebody obviously planted it there. Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? Probably. But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Which means that they did it on purpose, didn't they? And I think I know how. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Yep. Which means, whoever set up the blackout is the killer. True. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. No, not necessarily. Because, first of all, no one could reach it. Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! Whoa, 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 hang on. <gasps> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? Oh my god. I'm not the killer. I believe you. Oh, I guess she's not. <laughs> How can you believe her so easily? But with Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. You're right, honey. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Oh, he hates Peko's her. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. Why does he hate her so much? I don't get it. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Peko was the one who caused the blackout? Is that really what happened? No. After this debate, blue-colored weak spots will start appearing. If we call the weak spots you've seen up till now argue spots, the blue-colored weak spots will be called agree spots. Oh god, this is getting confusing. When shooting agree spots with truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies, 
Please fire truth bullets that prove the other person's testimony is correct. When your truth bullets merge with their weakness, it will become logically sound agreement. Isn't it a little hot in here? From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree. Oh my god, you guys were not shitting. This is hard. I mean, I just want to enjoy a murder story. <laughs> is there anywhere to go past easy? Because that's where I want to go with this right now. You can press the escape key, learn the controls. Okay. Good luck and have fun. So obviously they want me to do an agreement here somewhere. Terra Terra's account Oh god, there's so many! Oh no, and I don't know if I can look at them all. Since Pekka was in the office. Oh, which ones do we have? Nekomaro, Chiaki, caused the blackout at any Terra time. Terra. That's impossible. Uh Huh? Why is it impossible? Let's just because read what I they are. In the office. Right, she wasn't in there. Not even before the blackout. Right. What happened to your guard duty? <laughs> Sorry. She was the one in the bathroom. Oh, you weren't in the office? Remember? That's clearly a death. That's gotta be excuse. it. She was the one in the bathroom. When Nekomaru was trying to go for it. Was she? Because she was sick. She ran off when we were trying to talk to her. That's gotta be it. Just listening to Peko's testimony, it's not weird to doubt her. But I feel like I spoke to someone during the investigation who totally backs it up. Yes, okay, so I was right Since about Nekomaru. Peko was in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She could have caused the blackout at any time. No. Oh That's god. Impossible. I just figured it out, alright. Huh? Why is it impossible? I just don't remember where I have to shoot. Because I was not in the office. Right. Not even before the blackout. Correct. I agree with that. Oh, this is crazy. Guys, I'm gonna fail this so many times. Break! No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Yes, I do too. Mm hmm Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. Don't worry about who I like. And yet, it's nothing like that at all. Nekomaru's account is actually Pekko's alibi. Yep. He's been trying to use the bathroom many times, but the door won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time yep. shortly after the party started. That's what it was. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Mm hmm uh, Then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Yep. Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? Right. I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. True. I... I guess that would be... True. Does she not want to admit it because she's ashamed that she had to go to the bathroom? Girl, don't even worry about it. Everybody poop? <laughs> like, seriously, don't worry about it. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier. Who the fuck calls it a commode anymore? There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. R you're not wrong. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. This is amazing, and I, I feel like I should just end it here because this is the best line I've ever read in any video game ever. <laughs> God. I'm gonna do it. That's it. All right, in the next one, we'll continue from taking a shit. Remember? Okay, so we'll call this one... There's no way she'd admit she was- <laughs> That's probably too spoilery. I'll call there's no way she'd admit it. And then the next one will be taking shit. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm sorry it's so clunky so far. I'll get used to it. If you have any tips and tricks to be better at these kind of actions, or you can dumb it down for me without spoiling anything, do so in the comments, please. I would love to hear them. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh my- I'm just gonna look at this for another few minutes. Bye.